The Oromo people are the largest ethnic group in Ethiopia, comprising over 40% of the country's population. They are predominantly concentrated in the Oromia region of Ethiopia, but can also be found in other parts of the country and in neighboring countries such as Kenya and Somalia. The Oromo people have a rich history and culture that dates back several thousands of years. They have their own language, which is called Afan Oromo, and their own unique customs, music, and dance. The Oromo people have also been active participants in Ethiopia's political and social movements and have played a significant role in shaping the country's history. Despite their large numbers and cultural significance, the Oromo people have faced significant challenges and discrimination in Ethiopia. Historically, they have been marginalized and oppressed by successive Ethiopian governments, which have sought to suppress their language, culture, and political aspirations. In recent years, there have been significant efforts to address these historical injustices and to promote greater inclusion and equality for the Oromo people. In 2018, for example, Ethiopia's ruling party appointed its first Oromo prime minister, Abiy Ahmed, who has initiated a range of reforms aimed at promoting democracy, human rights, and social justice in the country. However, there are still significant challenges facing the Oromo people in Ethiopia. They continue to face discrimination, violence, and marginalization in some parts of the country, and there are ongoing disputes over issues such as land ownership. Despite these challenges, the Oromo people remain a proud and resilient community, with a rich cultural heritage and a strong sense of identity. They are an important part of Ethiopia's history and culture, and their ongoing struggles for justice and equality are an important reminder of the importance of promoting human rights and social justice for all people, regardless of their ethnicity or background. Religion The Oromo people are predominantly Muslim or Christian, although some also follow traditional Oromo religious beliefs. Livelihoods Traditionally, the Oromo people have been pastoralists and farmers with livestock and agriculture playing an important role in their economy and way of life. Political activism The Oromo people have a long history of political activism and resistance, with many Oromo individuals and groups fighting for greater political representation, autonomy, and human rights. Language Afan Oromo is one of Ethiopia's official languages and efforts have been made in recent years to promote greater recognition and use of the language in public life and education. Diaspora There is also a significant Oromo diaspora, with many Oromo people living in countries such as the United States, Canada, and Europe. The diaspora has played an important role in advocating for Oromo rights and raising awareness about their culture and struggles. Overall, the Oromo people are a diverse and vibrant community with a rich cultural heritage and a history of political activism and resistance. Despite ongoing challenges and struggles, they remain an important part of Ethiopia's social fabric, and their efforts to promote justice, equality, and human rights are an important reminder of the ongoing need to address historical injustices and promote greater social inclusion and equality. Why peace is important for Oromo people, for the Oromo people in Ethiopia, peace is of utmost importance. Historically, the Oromo people have faced significant challenges and discrimination, including political marginalization, economic exclusion, and cultural suppression. This has led to significant social and political unrest, including protests, uprisings, and conflicts with the Ethiopian government and other ethnic groups. In recent years, there have been significant efforts to address these challenges and promote greater inclusion and equality for the Oromo people. However, these efforts have been met with ongoing challenges and obstacles, including ongoing disputes over land ownership, political representation, and ethnic tensions. Given these ongoing challenges, peace is critical for the Oromo people in Ethiopia for several reasons, economic development, Peace is essential for promoting economic development in Oromia and other parts of Ethiopia. In times of conflict, economic growth is often stifled, leading to poverty and unemployment. Peaceful conditions, on the other hand, can create an environment that is conducive to economic development and investment. Human rights, peace is essential for promoting and protecting human rights. In times of conflict, 
human rights abuses are more likely to occur, including extrajudicial killings, torture, and arbitrary arrests. Peaceful conditions, on the other hand, promote the protection of human rights and the rule of law. Social justice, peace is closely linked to social justice. In peaceful societies, people have access to basic human rights, including education, healthcare, and freedom from discrimination. This helps to promote greater social equality and fairness. Cultural preservation, peace can help to preserve cultural heritage. In times of conflict, cultural artifacts and practices can be destroyed or lost, erasing important aspects of human history and identity. Mental and physical health, peace is essential for promoting good mental and physical health. In times of conflict, people can experience trauma, stress, and displacement, which can have lasting effects on their well-being. Peaceful conditions are essential for promoting greater political representation for the Armo people in Ethiopia. In times of conflict, political power often remains concentrated in the hands of a small, dominant group, making it difficult for minority groups like the Armo to gain a voice. However, when there is peace and stability, there is often greater opportunity for dialogue and negotiation, leading to more inclusive political systems. Community cohesion, peace is also essential for promoting community cohesion and social harmony. In times of conflict, communities can become divided and fragmented, leading to mistrust and hostility. In contrast, peaceful conditions can create an environment that promotes collaboration, cooperation, and social support. Education, peace is essential for promoting education, which is critical for individual and community development. In times of conflict, education systems can be disrupted, making it difficult for young people to gain the skills and knowledge they need to succeed. In contrast, peaceful conditions can create an environment that promotes learning and educational opportunities for all. Environmental sustainability, peaceful conditions are also important for promoting environmental sustainability. In times of conflict, natural resources can be exploited and destroyed, leading to long-term environmental damage. In contrast, peaceful conditions can create an environment that promotes sustainable practices and conservation. The importance of peace for the Aramo people in Ethiopia cannot be overstated. Efforts to promote peace and prevent conflict should be a top priority for all stakeholders. In summary, peace is of critical importance to the Aramo people in Ethiopia. The Aramo people have faced significant challenges and discrimination, and ongoing disputes over land ownership, political representation, and ethnic tensions continue to pose significant threats to their well-being and prosperity. Peace is essential for promoting economic development, human rights, social justice, cultural preservation, mental and physical health, political representation, community cohesion, education, and environmental sustainability. By promoting peace and preventing conflict, we can create an environment that promotes greater social, economic, and political equality for all people, including the Aramo people in Ethiopia. Peace for Aramo people.